Are you okay? What happened? There was a deer in the middle of the damn road, okay? Oh, great! Flip the car over and almost get us killed for a damn deer! We're still alive, aren't we? I can tell by the pissy look you're giving me. So, where are we now? This obviously isn't the interstate. Hey, I, I couldn't stay on the interstate, all right? It was all backed up. Well, thanks to you, we're officially stuck in the middle of nowhere. Nice work, Jonathan. Hey, I... Yeah. Wait, did you hear that? Hear what? I think the engine just made a noise. Can't see a damn thing. What is it? What? This really isn't a good time for that sort of thing, you know. All right, I'm not even going to ask. Why didn't you just stick with the interstate? Oh, I don't know, Ira. I guess I just wanted to make this trip as long and miserable as possible, you know? See just how much you'd bitch about it. On and on and on. Look, I just... I just thought it'd be faster, okay? I think Anya would have loved the detour. We never took her anywhere. The job was always too important. That's not fair. Why, why do you have to be like that when I say her name? Then stop saying her name. How long are you going to keep doing that? I mean, how are we going to move past this when you won't even say your daughter's name? Okay, you know what, Jonathan? Do what you want. Is there anyone around here? Looks empty. What are you two idiots doing outside? Get in here! What's going on? Questions later. Move! How are you feeling? Ma'am? My husband needs medical attention. Is there a first aid kit around here? Talk to Rick. He's the one minding the store. He probably knows where to get one. Ma'am, you need to stay inside till I receive further instructions. talk with you for a second? Do you have a first aid kit? My husband needs some patching up. Sorry, I can't help you there. There's a pharmacy about a hundred meters down the road, though. Seth won't let me out. My husband's in serious pain. You have to help me. I can't. I'm already in enough trouble as it is. Isn't there anyone around here that will help me?
Godverdikke, maar wat was dat? Did you just do that? It's gonna be hard for me to monitor this area from now. Oh well, it's still a problem from the boss. <laughs> Ma'am, you need to stay inside till I receive further instructions. I just spoke to Rick. There aren't any medical supplies here. We need to get to the pharmacy. Ma'am, if you open that door, you'll put us all in danger. Oh, what the heck. I'll go. Beats waiting around for something to happen. Oh, you just try it, Rick. I've been waiting for an excuse to take you down. There's an exit in the back. I have the key. I'll secure it after I leave, so nothing gets in here. I am not going to risk people's lives here. There's nothing out there, Seth. I am in charge. You're in way over I your head. I am in charge for the responsibility and welfare of you people. Try and stop me. Seth, what are you doing? Nothing, Amy. E everything is just fine. Have your mom and dad back in no time. Why do you smell burnt? I was in a car crash, but I'm fine now. How did you get here? Seth's family. Do you think Seth is a nice man? No. He has really bad breath and he's always talking about super. super. Sweetheart, it's pronounced supernatural. Why are you doing that? Doing what? Filling your head with that sort of garbage. She could get nightmares thanks to you. Ma'am, take a good look outside. That's got to be something supernatural at work. Or maybe Rick was right. Maybe there's nothing out there at all. Hmm. He should have been back by now. Something's taken him. Something out there in that sea of endless white. It's hiding out there, waiting. Biding its time till another one of us is stupid enough okay, to say, that's enough. out there. Listen, Seth, the kid's what, eight years old? Would you kindly stop filling her head with stuff that's liable to scar her for the rest of her life? What are you talking about? No, no, she there's herself nothing is a to these outside. Why do grown-ups always have to fight? It's what they do. Enjoy being a kid while it lasts. Because it won't. What is that thing? What do you think you're doing? You saw those things. We gotta get them ourselves. It's too late for that. Far too late. They're sending us a message, you see. Our existence as a... Our existence as the human race is over. These creatures... They're the new masters of this world now. So what are you saying? That... This is the apocalypse? I'm saying... The end of time? I'm saying that we take what little time we have to prepare ourselves to meet the Maker. For does the Bible not mention the coming of the strange and abnormal beasts setting foot 
hoof and claw upon this earth. Look, I was raised in a Christian family, all right? And the God I know doesn't do this sort of stuff. I'm serious. Revelations chapter 9, verse 7. And the shapes of the locusts were like horses prepared for battle. And on their heads were, were crowns of something like gold. And their faces were like the faces of men. They probably forgot to cover that in Sunday school. I'm not going to accept this. All right. It's all just a prank. Now that I have a good grasp of the situation, you can do whatever you like. It doesn't matter anymore. Just watch out for those bloodthirsty locusts. They look hungry. In that case, I'm going to the pharmacy. Ira, no! You're not going out there alone. I'll go with her. I want to see if I can get a sample of one of these things. Just be safe, all right? Don't worry. I'll be back soon. Let's just take it slowly, nice and easy, okay?
Well, how did it go? Did you find Rick? I bet he finally got what he deserved. He did some bad things, Seth, but he never deserved anything like what we saw. And who are you to say what he deserves? Well, I believe, I believe we deserve nothing less than death. This I know. All right. For the I, Bible I just tells me so. I've just enough of your ranting, Seth. <laughs> you bastard! I won't have any woman talking to me like that. Amy, are you there? Come on out, sweetheart. I won't hurt you. I promise. Ah, you little shit! Come down from there right now! Don't make me get you! Ara, I'm scared. It wasn't Dad's fault! The meteor couldn't be diverted and it crashed into the middle of Strothburg. Then this... this portal opened up and it started pumping the smog into the town. Wherever these creatures come from, this smog must have been their ideal living environment. Now it's starting to spread out from here and it's only a matter of time before it covers the rest of the continent, if not the world. My father tried to stop this from happening, you have to believe me, Seth! Blasphemy! You and your father are raging lunatics. You seek to defy God's law and justice upon man with your puny science? This is it! This is the end of mankind! And I will accommodate him as he sees fit. Seth, he was just a kid. He was just a kid, and you just shot him. Because of what? God told you to? Are you fucking mental? Oh, you'll be seeing him soon enough. Don't worry. You try it. You just fucking try it. You know, Ira, it's the end of the world. Why don't we enjoy our last moments in life together, huh? Get away from me, you freak! <laughs> you bastard! Those little bastards spat quite a sting.
anyone there? Please respond. Over. Ara? Yeah? Are you I'm okay? I'm hungry. We'll find a place soon. Don't worry. Help us on the way. Ira, I'm not feeling too good. <laughs> Ira, look at me. It's too late. Please. End it now. Please. I just want to see Anya again. It was my fault for never being there for her. I deserve this. I deserve this. Shoot me. Come on. Do it. Do it. Just... <laughs>